Things have gotten so bad now that while CEOs are suggesting things that, that you might not even believe, and this is because the grim reality of things are Americans are spending the biggest share of their income on food in three decades. That's right. Between groceries and restaurants combined, Americans are spending more of their income on food than they have in the last 30 years. That's according to the latest data from the USDA, which shows that U.S. consumers spent more than 11% of their disposable income on eating. Whether at home or at a restaurant, the highest percentage since 1991. This is really a metric that's about the share of our disposable personal income, which the USDA tracks, and which recently was at essentially a 31-year high. And things have gotten so bad that CEOs are suggesting, and this is actually because of some trends, that people should consider eating cereal for dinner. Take a listen. The cereal category has always been quite affordable, and it tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure. So some of the things that we're doing is first messaging. we got to reach the consumer where they are. So we're advertising about cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. The other places that we like to go is we talk about making sure we have the right pack at the right price in the right place. So having a different size pack that'll have a different price point, that'll take some pressure off the consumer while they're shopping. So those are some of the things that we're doing. But in, in general, the cereal category is a place that a lot of folks might come to because they, the price of a bowl of cereal with, with milk and with fruit is less than a dollar. So you can imagine why a consumer under pressure might find that to be a good place to go. Right. I'm all for innovation and marketing, but the idea of having cereal for dinner um, is there the potential for that to land the wrong way? Uh, we don't think so. In fact, it's landing really well right now, Carl. When we look at all of our data, of course we would know that breakfast cereal is the number one choice for in-home consumption. We understand that for breakfast. It turns out that over 25% of our consumption is outside the breakfast occasion. A lot of it's at dinner, and that, that occasion continues to grow, as well as the snacking occasion. But um, cereal for dinner is something that is is probably more on trend now and we would expect to continue as that consumer is under pressure so a lot of people were actually really upset with kellogg's and their ceo for actually even suggesting this but the data actually shows that a lot of people are ever actually having to cut down because of food prices rent prices and overall inflation and when you actually hear what he said the price of cereal, milk, and fruit for it was either a dollar a bowl or less than a dollar a bowl. Let me know your thoughts on that. And has this is this actually what we've come to? And when we actually have things like the average rent nationwide coming into 2024, just under two thousand dollars per month or $24,000 a year, just under that, for the entire United States, you see that prices are actually unbelievable. And shockingly enough, this is actually slightly down year over year. Wow. Wow. So when you have to pay $2,000 a month for rent and... The average monthly car price is $751 to buy a car in 2024 and to lease a car, $516 a month. This is really kind of before those new um, car industry raises are really kind of going into effect. Those are probably going to kick in later this year. Those big car raises that are going out to those employees, those are going to have some effect on car prices. We also, we also have the average car price for a new car in 2024 at around $48,750. Nearing $50,000 for an average new car. 
in 2024, things are wild. Things are wild. Average home prices nationwide, $420,000 here. And this is with interest rates here in the U.S. at over 7% right now, even 7.5%, really. It depends on your credit, of course, but uh, interest rates are sky high. And the problem here with the mortgage market is or really credit card interest. Well, we'll stick with the mortgage markets here for a second. When in a home market is that if the Fed, when the Fed finally, finally decides to lower interest rates, the problem here is we're, I, I expect that we'll see more homes come to market, but then we'll see a flood of buyers come to market, and then that could just raise the home prices. This is, this is a bit of the problem. The problem here is that we have not really seen home prices come down across the United States. In fact, home prices haven't really come down hardly anywhere. Hardly anywhere because of the lack of inventory here in the United States. And this is a problem. It's, it's become a problem for uh, affordability here in the United States. And um, this is a major, major problem because interest rates went so high um, and it, it's, it's almost, it, it has pushed affordability for homes, uh, out there and it's making it harder and harder for anybody to afford to buy a home right now. So interest rates made that really, really hard. The other problem is, is that home prices never went down, even though interest rates went up. So when interest rates do go down, everybody's going to flock to buy new homes or used homes, same thing, right? And then we're going to see probably home pri homes prices go up because there's going to be all these new buyers out on the market, which could cause home prices to surge upwards, which is going to create even another problem in itself. So then we could see home prices surge up, which is going to cause another unaffordability problem in the market. It's like you just can't win. You, you can only really win if you're a homeowner now, but if you're a homeowner now and you go to you know, move into another home, you still got to buy another home. So it's, it's, you're really only a winner if you have a home and you're going to like give it to your children or something along those lines and you've paid it off and you've played the time game. Yeah. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Um, and I'll keep you up to date here on a daily basis. Thank you so much for liking these videos. Subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. And I'll keep you up to date here. New videos come out here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the bell icon after you subscribe. Click here to see a major new ruling that just went into effect and is going to save Americans billions of dollars. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.